According to San Luis Obispo County, the Lopez Lake Reservoir is at 23% right now, about two and a half years worth of water. KSPY news reporter Aaron Fay has details on a plan to increase those numbers. We can't make it rain, but in San Luis Obispo County, they have a plan to make use of the storms that we do have in order to raise the water levels in Lopez Lake. The Central Coast saw recent rainfall, but according to the County of San Luis Obispo, it isn't enough. David Spiegel is an engineer with the county. To get any amount of storage that would actually bump the reservoir up to something significant, um, we would probably need to see about twice as much rainfall as we've gotten so far. To increase the amount of water in Lopez Lake, the county approved a cloud seeding program for three more years. It involves releasing silver iodide into the air. KSBY's chief meteorologist Dave Hubdi says cloud seeding does work, but you have to have a storm system first. Typically what you do is you put condensation nuclei or little particles in the air ahead of a system, and then when the system starts to produce a little bit of rainfall or the clouds get heavy, in this case, they would get heavier and just be more likely to drop some rainfall. Lopez Lake is used for recreation and provides water to homes and farms. We should see about 10% increase um, in runoff from it. However, it's directly affected by how many storms we get. Our reservoirs, our lakes, they're struggling. This can't hurt. We definitely need more rain for them. So in a La Nina year where typically we expect lower than average rainfall, it can be helpful. In a year that was already going to be wet, probably not a big factor. Brent Burchett is the executive director for the San Luis Obispo County Farm Bureau. I believe in 2020 that cloud seeding helped, uh, I believe about 400 acre feet were added, uh, rain that we otherwise would not have received. So any type of investment in bringing in more water, it's not the end all be all. There needs to be moisture and cold air for cloud seeding to work, according to Dave Hubdi. But if there isn't any in the air, cloud seeding doesn't help. Christmas weekend, good example of where cloud seeding wouldn't work. There's no storm system in the area. A good example of when it could actually help us get a little more rainfall, this upcoming forecast right after Christmas. The county expects to pay about a million dollars for the cloud seeding over the next three years. In Arroyo Grande, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.